This is Jose and Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band, a church you can call home where we honor God, love families, serve others, and pursue excellence, where we have a passion for God and a passion for souls. Amen. Woo, hallelujah, man. That is good. We can say amen and go home. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family. We want to welcome all our visitors and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Mm -hmm. God's got something for you. Amen. Don't let him go. Say, Lord, Lord, you got something for me and I want it. Amen. Amen. Woo, he wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and he wants to. Yes. Once in a while, he wants to correct us. And it's okay. Amen. That's all right. We're going to be talking about today uh, about our God is bigger. I don't care what you're facing or what you're coming against, but God is bigger. Yes. Amen. We we've been saying this quite often here lately, but we're magnifying the distraction. We're magnifying the problem. We're magnifying the problem more than we're magnifying our God. Amen. Amen. So don't go to God telling them about your big problems. Go to your problems and tell them about your big God. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what we need to do. We we have to reverse it. Amen. When you start having a relationship, when you start spending time with him, you know that greater is he that is in you Amen. than he that is in the world. Whatever the problem is, whatever the problem, trouble is, whatever the giant <coughs> is, whatever the storm is, it's going to be there. But guess what? Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I'll fear no evil mm -hmm. because he's walking with me. Amen. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Amen. God is with me. Amen. Amen. David, little David, knew mm -hmm. when he raised and he ran to face the giant. Yeah. You know, any one of us would have just went the other way or hit behind everybody else. <laughs> but little David ran to the giant. He says, my God is bigger than you. He says, my God is bigger. And that's what our title is going to be. But uh, before we do that, let's grab our Bibles. Soldier of God. Warrior of God. And let's make this declaration together. Amen. Praise God, here's mine, where's yours, huh? Let's have one. Declaration is this. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Woo! In Jesus' name. Praise God. We're going to press on. We're going to press on. You know, there might be things all around us, but still, I'm pressing. Oh, why? Because Amen. the greater one is with me. Amen. And we're passing. We're going through. Ooh, hallelujah. This is an enemy. And we're going to use this scripture in a few minutes, but the enemy is busy as a roaring lion seeking who we may devour. You know how you know who to devour is uh -huh. what you're speaking. Yep. You got to be careful not to speak the negative, Amen. not to speak the wrong things. But speaking the positive things. Yeah. Speak the word of God. And you can't go wrong. Amen. Amen. Woo, praise God. Thank you, Lord. I'm excited. I don't know about you. But don't leave as you came in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord's not finished with you. Lord, I want more. And that's the thing. That's the way we, we, we talked about passion a few minutes ago. And you got to have passion. It's, Lord, I want more. Lord, I want more. You know, hey, whatever that enchilada was, you know, it's said, man, I want some more. Yeah. I want it now. Amen. <laughs> Woo, praise God. I've got a scripture break I want to read for you. You know, I've been telling you this. We take breaks for everything. We take everything. coffee breaks. We yeah. take breaks upon breaks. And we take school breaks. We take all kinds of breaks. Amen. Why not take a scripture break? Amen. Have your Bible there. Amen. But it goes like this. It says, God wants to use you. If nobody's ever told you, you're listening now. Those of you watching, those of you listening, God wants to use you. When does he want to use you? He wants to use you now. Amen. Yes. He wants to use you daily. Be available and serve him. God's not looking for perfection. Amen. He's looking for those uh, uh, that, that uh, are available to him. Amen. He was looking for those that are committed. Those that are faithful mm -hmm. and available to him. Are you available? Are you making yourself available? Because he's knocking. Amen. He said, hey, you know, it's a new day. This is the day I've given you. Uh -huh. Rejoice, be glad in it, because yes. I have a mission for you. Yes. He's not talking to somebody else. He's talking to you. Yes. Amen. Yes. You, yes. he's talking to you. You know why he's calling you? Because you're good enough. Mm -hmm. Because he sees the goodness in you. He sees what he's put in you. Yes. Amen. And he's equipped you. He's anointed you. He's called you. He has a, 
uh, equipped you to do what he wants you to do. And if he's equipped you, you're going to succeed. Yes. He didn't make you to fail. He made yes. you to win. So yes. call yourself a winner. You know, quit being so negative and, and, and saying things about yourself. Don't let nobody steal your peace on each each day, you know. You walk okay. in your peace and you walk in his goodness, amen. So praise God. So God's not looking for perfection. He's looking for people. He's not looking for people that think they've got it all together. He's looking for those that are committed, faithful, and available. Faithfulness, listen to this, loyal, faithful, reliable, committed, and dependable. Mm -hmm. Are you dependable? You know, we look to him on a daily basis because we know he's available but what about you because he wants you to do something he's called you and you have a call on your life it's time you come home it's time that you answer the call amen amen passion means that a desire a hunger and a thirst you know when it comes to a certain part of the day man when you've been working all day you you got you're thirsty man and man you can you can you feel it or you're hungry Amen. Excited, enthusiastic, emotional, and zealous. Uh -huh. Jesus was all these things, you know. Yes. Even though they hated him. He says, know this, they hate me first before they hated mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you're a child of God. Amen. Amen. And you're a winner. See yourself the way he sees you. Yes. He didn't call you to lose. He called you to win. Amen. Yes, amen. We, we make ourselves, okay. <laughs> we make ourselves to everyone but God mm. and sometimes our last resort mm. we go and seek advice from anything and everything mm. except God until yeah. the last we try to impress everyone uh -huh. but God <laughs> be a God pleaser and not a people pleaser amen put God first and you will reap your reward you will reap your blessing. Amen. Let me read this scripture to you. Amen. It goes with it. It says Matthew 6, 33 and 34. You can mark that down and read it for yourself. I'm going to read it to you from the NIV, New International Version. It said, go like this. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. 34 says, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. <laughs> Can everybody say amen, amen? amen. <laughs> Each day has enough problems of its own. But don't let the problems, don't magnify those problems. Magnify your God. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. So let's remember this, okay? Ooh, hallelujah, amen. Whatever it is for, get it and run with it. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. We're going to be talking about. God is bigger. God is bigger. And uh, are we there? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> nice title, huh? God is bigger. Bigger than what? God is bigger than anything. God is bigger than anything. <laughs> God is bigger than your mountain. God is bigger than your giant. God is bigger than your storm or your care, your problem. Doesn't compare to the size of your God. Your God is bigger. So we magnify him and not the problem. Yeah, the problem is going to be there. But guess what? My God is bigger. And what do we do to the problem? We speak the word of God to it. Get the word in you so that you can speak it out. It's not good enough just to have it in. You're going to have to say it, speak to it. He says, whoever says to this mountain, mm -hmm. whoever says to this problem, speak it out. Amen. Speak the word. You got to have it deposited in you so that you can take it out. You go to the bank, try to take some money. If you ain't got nothing in there, ain't nothing going to come out. <laughs> and they're going to look at you and say, uh, uh, we're going to call the cops if you don't get out of here. <laughs> but you make a deposit of the word in you. You get it in you so that you can be able to withdraw and speak it out. Amen. Because it's the word the enemy is afraid of. Amen. When you start speaking the word of God, changing your, 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 your words, changing your actions. Mm-hmm. Enemy is going to say something different about this person. He's going to walk around you or he's going to flee. He says, submit yourself to God. Now you're going to resist him and he is going to flee. He's got to flee. You know, flee is not just walk away. Flee means he's got to, he, he's got to run. Okay, he's got to boogie. He's got to go. 
Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Brother, I'm preaching Ben, you ain't mad at me now. All right, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Magnify your God, not your problem. He's God on the mountain. And he's God in the valley, you know. We might go through some ups and downs, you know, but still, he's God when you was high on the mountain. And he's going to be God wherever you go. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. Why? Because greater is he that's in me, that walks with me. Amen. Than he that is in the world. And uh, this uh, song I've got, I'm just going to give you a few. Uh, here's, uh, here's one. God is bigger than what? Your past? You know your past is still holding you? Don't be a prisoner of your past. It's gone. You're a new child of God now. Old is gone. New is in. Mm -hmm. Even though the enemy, remember, remember the battlefield, the mind? Mm -hmm. The enemy is going to try to put it there and say, I still remember. Mm -hmm. And you tell him, I don't because I gave it to my God. That's it. That's okay? That. It's not mine anymore. It's his. Mm -hmm. So you go talk to him. Okay? So don't let him bring you down. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Keep your peace. Yes. He's greater than your past. Yeah. He's greater than your fears. You know, we're going to fear. We're going to fear if we don't have the word in us. We're going to fear if we're not walking in the word. What's the opposite of fear? Faith. When you get the word in you, you're going to step out in yes. faith. If you're not walking in faith, you're going to walk in fear. And fear is going to grab everybody. You know, Peter walked to meet Jesus and walking on the water. Mm -hmm. But then he says, I, I can't do this. And fear came and he sank. Mm -hmm. But he was walking. He walked. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He's greater than your sickness. Oh yeah. Amen. I had to stand on that this morning. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I wasn't feeling great. But still, I received my healing. Praise God. I'm yeah. standing. God, you're bigger than my sickness. Yes. It ain't mine. Amen. I'm <laughs> I'm casting. I'm I'm commanding it to go in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Your depression, whatever, you can fit all kinds of things on here, okay? Mm -hmm. He's bigger than your depression, your pain, your hate, your anger, your no, doubt, no. your lack, your shame. Yes. God is bigger. Yes. So what do we need to do? We need to depend on Him. Yes. We need to seek Him. Amen. Yes. We need to seek, seek Him so that we can uh, overcome these things. Yes. Since God is bigger than any, uh, than, excuse me, God is bigger than this uh, world. Uh, any mountain or uh, anything coming against us. Uh, magnify him, not your care, not your problem, not mm -hmm. your trouble, sickness, situation. You yes. can do all things through Christ, uh, things. child of God. It says press on, step out in faith. Man, yes. that's good right there. Mm -hmm. Man, you can write that down. Mm -hmm. This is good. You got to step out in faith. I mean, why? Because the greater one is with me, you know. Yeah, I'm on my my best high. My best high is walking with Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise yeah. God. <laughs> so I draw close to Him. You know when you when, when you get the word in you, you're drawing closer to God. And mm -hmm. here's your image. I'm gonna copy Him. I'm gonna be like Him. Be an imitator of Christ. Amen. I'm gonna draw close to Him and stay focused on Him and stay connected to the Source. He's my power source. Mm -hmm. Because my power source is he, when I speak his word, I'm speaking power. Yeah. Amen. He's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power of love, love and of a sound mind. Amen. 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 Psalms 34 and 3 in the King James says this, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name yes. together. Amen. Amen. That's what we assemble ourselves together. Mm -hmm. And we're going to magnify and exalt his name together. You can go yeah. keep going, Carmen. Oh, I just put a few of these together. It says, God is bigger than your past, your, your pain, your anger, your doubt, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever it is, you can put it on the list. Yes. Amen. And just say, yes. my God is bigger. God is bigger. Amen. I'm, I'm refusing it. I'm, I'm rejecting it. Just let it go. Mm -hmm. Amen. Keep going. Bigger than all, uh, all my questions, bigger than anything. Mm. God is bigger than any mountains I can see or cannot see. That I can or, that I can or cannot see. Whatever it is, it don't matter. You know, hey, yeah. whatever problems is in my in the future, <laughs> well, praise God, I'm not going to worry about it. My God is bigger. Mm -hmm. I'm not receiving it. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Thank you, Lord. Here we go. The giant in front of you is never bigger than the God inside of you. No. Isn't that awesome? Yes, it is. 
the God in you is bigger than whatever giant is in front of you. Mm -hmm. And that's I was telling you about little David. Yeah. Amen. He saw the big giant. You know, every day when you wake up and you walk out, spend time with him before you step out. Amen. Because there's giants waiting on you. With God, you can overcome these things. With God, you can tell your God your giants where to go. But without God, you ain't no match. Remember, we fight a spiritual battle, and your enemy is the devil. Mm -hmm. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. You're no match. If you're in the flesh, and you're rushing because you got top priorities at, ah, your, at ah. your job, or top priorities, whatever. Without God, you ain't no match to yeah, your yeah. priorities. You ain't no match to whatever's facing you. Mm -hmm. I said, wait a minute. God first, seek you first, the kingdom of God. His yeah. righteousness, and all these other things shall be added yeah, on you. Yeah. I've been with God, and you, giant, are no match. That's it. So I'm speaking to you. I command you to go mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah. That bless me. I don't know about you. Yeah. Psalms 130, uh, 13 and 4. Let's go there and see what that says. Mm. Psalms. Book of Psalms. They give us a scripture, so let's look it up. 113 and 4. 113 and 4. I already have it. Uh, a slide on it, Carmen. Somewhere in there. 113 and 4. Also have 113 and 3. Look at 113 and 3 first. What's 113 and 3 says? From the rising of the sun. From the rising of the sun until the going down, mm -hmm. the name, or the, uh, the excuse me. Where am I at? Here we are. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. Amen. Woo, man, that's good. That was not in there. I just threw that one in there. But verse 4, it says, The Lord is high above all nations. The Lord is high above all your problems or whatever. Amen. Uh, and uh, His glory above the heavens. So greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. Amen. Remember, he's called us to be warriors. Warriors for God, mm -hmm. not warriors. <laughs> yes. Some of us practice too much on being warriors. <laughs> Worrying ain't going to solve a thing. Okay? Speaking a word is going to solve your thing. Amen? So let's remember, remember that. Yes. Yes, God. There we go. From the rising of the sun until the going down. Of the same, the Lord's name the Lord's is to be name. praised. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Praise. praise God. Keep going. <clears throat> this is mm -hmm. this is the one. One thirteen and four says, "The Lord is high above, above all, all, nations, all nations, and His glory above the heavens." Ooh. Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord. Keep going. Yes, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. Magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mark 11, 23 and 24 says this. If you have faith in God and don't doubt, you can tell this mountain, get up and jump into the sea All and right. it will. <laughs> it, it has to. When you speak the word, it has to happen. Have no doubt. That's it. Everything, verse 24, everything you ask for in prayer will be yours if you only have faith. Yes. Amen. Believer, you walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Because the enemy is going to use all kinds of distractions. Yes. To get you off That's course. It. Amen. So we walk by faith and not by sight. How do I stay in faith? Speaking the word. Mm -hmm. Getting in the word. Studying the word. Amen. Yes. Meditating on the word. Uh, James 4, 7 and 8 says, therefore submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. That's it. But he says, draw near to God, and he'll draw near to you. Yes. Cleanse your hands, you sinner, and purify your hearts, double-minded. Mm -hmm. Amen. So submit yourself to God. Now you resist him. Yeah. You know, we always try to find somebody, well, maybe a pastor, or maybe <laughs> sister holy so-and-so, <laughs> you know, or brother holy so-and-so. Uh -uh. No, you. you. You get the word in you so that you can speak it out. Amen. Amen. Woo, man, I, Thank well, you, Lord. I better not go there. <laughs> James 4, 7 and 8 in the Amplified says this. says, So submit to the authority of God. Resist the devil. Stand firm against him. And he will flee from you. Say, so wait a minute, devil. This is what the word of God says. 
and you will obey the word of God. Yes. <laughs> Every sees and knows who's backing you. Who's backing me? God. And God is backing me. Amen. Verse 8 says, Come close to God with a contrite heart, contrite heart, repentant, remorse, Ugh. sorry, and he will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinner, and purify your unfaithful heart, you double-minded people. Amen. So we you know these things are, are are continuing and you see it more and more, you know, the media everywhere, you know, your cell phones, you see all negative stuff. You see all the bad news. Amen. Ain't nobody gonna speak the good news but you. Amen. Good news. You bring the good news wherever you go. You're the closest thing to a Bible to the lost world. You bring the good news to lost people. And you're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever hear or see. Amen. Because God has or be. Because God has you in, in the right place for the right time. So don't worry about where you're at. Just, Lord, I'm doing this unto you. When you change your attitude and get him right with him, everything's going to go well. And he's going to use you. He's the head and we're the body. Yes. We're the church. So wherever you are, he's going to use you as long as you make yourself available to yes. him to be used. Yes. Amen. And he wants to use you. You know what? You're Again, you're good enough. Mm -hmm. Don't doubt yourself. That's it. Amen. Don't doubt yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't fear. Just op open your mouth and let the word of God come out. Yes, and say yeah. what he says. Say what he wants you to say. And do what he wants you to do. First Peter 5, 7 and 8 says this. Casting all your care upon him. Why? Because he cares for me. He cares for God loved us so much. Mm -hmm. He cared. He sacrificed his son. And Jesus went and allowed himself. He was he was uh, sacrificed. He was crucified. So now, he says, you've got everything. I've called you. I've known you. Mm -hmm. And you can do all these things I want you to go and do for me. Mm -hmm. But you have to remember that you got to give him all the cares, all the problems, every distraction that's yes. coming against you. Your yes. past, whatever it might be. Yes. Drinking habits, bad habits, whatever it is, give yes. it to him. Lord, I need help. Give it to him. And then press on because he's got a calling on you. And he wants you to press on. And he wants you to step out in faith. Right. And he wants you to, to succeed. Yes. The enemy doesn't. Remember, the enemy's mission is just steal, kill, destroy. That's, it. That's, it. That's all he wants. He wants to see you fail. The Amplified says this cast, up, cast all your cares, all your anxieties, all your yes. worries, and all your concerns <laughs> once and for all on him. Amen. For he careth about you with deep mm -hmm. affection. And watches over you very carefully. Verse 8 says, Be sober, well balanced, and self disciplined. Be alert and caution all the time. The enemy of yours, the devil, mm -hmm. that's the only enemy the Bible says that you have, not people. <laughs> Amen. It says, He prowls around like a roaring lion, mm -hmm. fiercely hungry, seeking someone to devour. Yes. Don't don't give in to him. That's don't it. give in him. Don't give in to him. There you go. It says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the, the, the lion, mm -hmm. walks about as a roaring lion, seeking who he may devour. Yeah. He knows who to devour because yeah. he knows where you're hanging out. He knows yeah. <laughs> what you're speaking. You're speaking That's negative it. things. You know, mm -hmm. you just can't show up for church mm -hmm. or, you know, and speak the right little churchy things <laughs> and then leave these uh, leave these four walls here uh -huh. and then live like the world <laughs> it ain't gonna it ain't gonna work because nah. the enemy knows <laughs> and the enemy <laughs> sees <laughs> amen mm -hmm. so now he's going around as a roaring lion mm -hmm. seeking who he made around yeah he's just waiting for you to trip yeah for you to say something and say huh oh, you open the door how did how did this happen well, you opened the door, you said something negative, mm -hmm. and he came in, you opened, yeah. he walked in. Remember, if <laughs> you take take him for a ride, and he wants to be the driver, yeah. and he wants to drive you forever. Yeah. Amen. Well, he, he, you let him in, and he wants to stay forever. Yeah. Best thing to do is 
don't give in. That's it. If you say it or you think whatever, if you say it, just say, Lord, confess it unto him. Give it to him. Says, Lord, I said, I said this, and I, I, I repent. I mean, get get right with God right away. Don't put it off. Don't put it off because if you put it off, it's going to get easier. You're going to do it again mm -hmm. and do it again and do it again. Mm -hmm. The next thing you know is you lost your desire, and you know mm -hmm. you you're you're not doing your call again. You're not serving God anymore. Mm -hmm. Just like the world, mm -hmm. don't allow yourself. You put a stop to it. Amen. Yes. 2 Timothy 1 and 7 says this, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but in power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. This is yeah. about the third time we've talked about this. Yes. He's not giving you a spirit of fear. A power, yes. Of love, yes. And of a sound mind. Yes. Renew your mind to the word of God. Okay? Uh -huh. Because you live in a negative world. Oh, yeah. Amen. And you're going to see all kinds of things. You're going to mm. read all kinds of things. You're going to hear all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So the best thing you can do, and you, you have all kinds of thoughts going there. The battlefield is the mind. Mm -hmm. Thoughts just going on and on and on. And you say, wait a minute. i got to renew my mind. How do I renew my mind? Mm -hmm. With the Word of God. With the Word. Mm -hmm. With the Word of God. So you can just be cleansed, amen, and renew yeah. it and get it out. And every time it pops up, just say, uh-uh, you're out of here. Mm -hmm. When things are going bad, Sounding bad, looking bad. One place to turn for guidance. One place to turn for help. Help that will last for eternity. Running into the open arms of your Savior. Yes. Open arms of Jesus that will help you. Help those who are in fear, hurting, seeking Him, or drawing closer to Him. Yes. Amen. That's the best place to be. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so important that you seek Him first. Yes. Before you go into the world. Because the world is going to have you in a heartbeat. Yes. If you're trying to fight spiritual with flesh, uh -huh, uh -huh. you ain't no match. Amen? Mm -hmm. And remember, full-time devil, mm -hmm. you're no match to a full-time devil. Yeah, Part-time yeah. Christian mm -hmm. is no match to a full-time yeah, devil. So true. Mm -hmm. Amen? You got to use the word, speak the word. It, we say it over and over and over, so it's time to say, you know what? I'm going to uh, start reading. I'm going to start studying. I'm going to start magnifying. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start giving God my best time. Yes. That's the best thing to do, you know, instead of putting it off, you know. Well, you know, I skip the morning, so I'll do it at noon, and you skip <laughs> noon. You say, well, I'll do it at bedtime, and at bedtime, you fall asleep, so, you know, it's like your priorities were not there. Anyway, Matthew, okay, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Second Timothy, you can write these down, amen, 1-7. Keep going, Carmen. There we go. There we are. Right there. <laughs> Matthew 11, 28 and 30. says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. Come to me, all you. You can scratch the you and put your name on there. Lord Jose is coming to you, who is heavy labored and heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Says you take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, mm -hmm. and you will find rest for your soul. Mm -hmm. My yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. There you go, right there. The Bible, Holy Bible. You know, some <laughs> some of us need to read. <laughs> what is the Holy Bible? Yeah. It's the Word of God. He said, "Well, yeah. He never talks to me, but uh. you never open your Bible." Mm. You know, if you don't have one, we have plenty in the back. Take one, one for yourself. <laughs> have one. Amen? Have one. have one. You can have them, you know. So praise God. It's okay, you know. We started this way. Somebody gave me one. Somebody, I bought one. I went to the thrift store. They got them. Yes. Cheap. But the word is powerful. And you got to deposit so you can make it a withdrawal. Yes. And speak it out, amen. That's you gotta right. get it in you. Yeah. When you start changing yourself, mm -hmm. the enemy knows mm -hmm. that he can no longer have his way with you, amen. That's it. I'm now not fearing him. I'm submitting myself to God, and I'm gonna resist him mm -hmm. with the word. And he's got to go. Yeah. Church, you just can't uh, just uh, call out on the name of Jesus. He is one prayer away. He mm -hmm. is one call away. Mm -hmm. Jesus called for strength from the Father. 
you know he he lived in a this physical world and he had the same problems we have he's our imitator mm. amen he showed us so that we could learn from him but he called on the Father when he needed strength. Lord, I need your strength. He says, Lord, can you take this from me? Can you can this go just bypass this? But no. He said, but not my will. Your will be done, Lord. Yes. Amen. And, 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 and when you get the word in you, he said, man, I can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. Yes. See yourself that way because the world is going to put you down. Mm -hmm. The enemy is going to put you down. He's going to use people to down you. And you know, and you're gonna stay down if you allow yourself to be right, down. Right, right. But don't allow yourself to stay down. Say, wait a minute. Yeah. That's not what the word of God says about me. Mm -hmm. Know what the word of God says about you and start reading it. Start living it. Amen. Yeah. Start speaking it. Amen. The prodigal son make the, make that call. He returned home. The father said the father received him back with open arms and reinstated him. Mm. He will do the same for you. You need to come home. Some of you are watching me. Some of you are listening to me. You need to come back to power. You need to come back home. And you know what I'm talking about. God's got a call on your life. And you've been running from him all this time. It's time that you come home. And say, Lord, here I am. Use me. And guess what? He's going to use you. He put you here to use you. But you've been running. Just like Jonah. <laughs> you know? He tried to run away. God told him what to do. Jonah says, no, I'm not. No. And he ran away. He got in the ship, and the ship had people have problems. So he said, well, you know, hey, I know what the problem is. <laughs> I'm running from God. If you throw me overboard, uh, your problems will be solved. Yeah. So guess what? <laughs> they threw him overboard. But God had a plan. He already yes. had a fish waiting for him. Yeah. Swallowed him. It took him three days. To say, Lord, I'm sorry. I'll do what you want me to do. Let's not get that hard-headed, you know. Yes. Some of us have been up and down all this time, you know. What things we've gone through, you know. Mm -hmm. Like the prodigal son, like Jonah, and all these other Bible heroes we read about. Mm -hmm. They went through some trials, too. Yes, yes, they did. Amen. He said, okay, I'll do it, Lord. So the fish went and spit him out. At the end of the, to speak the word of God. Mm -mm -mm. Some of you listening, some of you watching, God has told you these things, you know, and you're still running. And you're good enough. Because God called you. If God called you, you're good enough. Yeah. Let's remember that. Amen. It doesn't matter what the world says. It doesn't matter what the enemy says. It. it matters what God said. What God said. And you know what? Here's the, here's the thing is, he's not going to take a call from you. He's not going to take those gifts that he's given you. But one day you'll have to stand before him and answer him and, and, and tell him why you never used them. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, I was afraid. Well, that's not good enough. Did I give you a spirit of fear? No. Give you a spirit of power and love and of a sound mind. So let's, 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 let's make it simple. Keep it simple. Amen. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. Moses at the Red Sea. Oh my God, Lord, help me. <laughs> he called on God. You know what? These are great examples for us. It, yeah. If they use God, we, we can. He says, use me. Call on me and I will answer you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know, he was between a rock and a hard place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or he was between a, a, an Egyptian army and, and the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. I said, Lord, I, I need you right now. And you know, God didn't just part the sea. He parted the sea and he dried the ground for them to yes, walk yes. through. Man, that's, that's, that's a mighty God right yes. there. Yeah. Amen. Praise, Praise God. God. Thank you, Lord. Lady with the issue of blood says, <laughs> if I could just touch the hem of his garment. Amen. I, I received. She was walking in faith. She had faith. The world had given up on her. Mm. They say, we can't help you anymore. Mm. But he says, my Jesus is good enough. Mm. He says, Jesus is good enough. Mm -hmm. And she plowed herself through the crowd, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if she was crawling or walking or whatever. But she got to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that was crowded because there was people bumping all on him. It was crowded. And she finally came. And she didn't try to get his attention. She just touched the hem of his garment. 
Jesus said, somebody touch me. Mm -hmm. Y'all you know if you ever seen a concert or a revival, or, you know, where it's a huge crowd at, at, at a football game? I mean, crowded, 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 shoulder, shoulder, the shoulder crowd. And if I touch a hem of your garment, if I touch you, your clothes, you ain't going to feel that. <laughs> but Jesus felt spirit in the spirit, and he felt that anointing leave him. It says, somebody touch me. And you know what? When you call on him, he knows. Amen. You call on him, just like the lady with the issue of blood. She went in touch, but you can speak. Amen. You you have the word and speak the word. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Daniel was thrown in the lion's den because he was serving God. And they didn't like religious people. They didn't like what he was doing, you know. But they threw him in there, and the Lord... Either, either shut the lion's jaws or he filled their bellies, you know, so they wouldn't mm -hmm. jump on the man of God. <laughs> and he was fine. They came and they found everything was at peace. Mm -hmm. He'll do the same for you. Amen. You're God's favorite, favorite person. Remember that. Amen. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we can just go on and on and on. You know, Joshua, he gave Joshua a plan. This is what I want you to do. Joshua, the great general, he's thinking about you know, having all his warriors up front. God says, put them praisers up front. Mm. I say, what? He put the praisers up front, then he told them what to do. Mm. And when they blew their horns, guess what? At the seventh day, they blew their horns. Them thick walls came down. Mm. Amen. God is bigger. We're talking about God is bigger. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Woo, hallelujah. Uh, one more. Three Hebrew children. They threw them in the fire. But when they looked in the fire, it was so hot. The people that threw them in or the soldiers that threw the, the three children in were consumed. Mm -hmm. they, they died. And they threw them in there. And when they saw in the fire, they saw four. Mm. So guess what he does with you? Mm -hmm. He walks with you. Yes. He was with them, you know. So he yeah, came yeah. to destroy my people, you know. Hallelujah. Ooh, man. Praise God. Praise Thank Lord. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Second Chronicles 7, 14 in the expanded Bible says this. Then if my people who are called by my name or belong to me will humble themselves, if they yes. will pray and pray. seek me, my face, mm -hmm. and stop their evil ways, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins, yes. and I will heal and restore their lands. You know, everybody knows, everybody hears all the negative things happening in America. <laughs> but as people of God, we need to pray about this. Mm. You pray because he hears. Amen. You see situations, he puts something in your heart, pray about it. Yeah, yes. but it's overseas. It's way over That's here. It. it doesn't matter. There's no distance in prayer. That's it. That's it. God hears you pray. Mm. Amen. Just be faithful enough to pray about it. Amen. Amen. So pray, pray, pray. Have faith. Had no complaints. Prayer helps. Complaints don't. That's it. <laughs> and a lot of times we, we complain. We try to put God at our level. He's not at our level. He's much higher. Amen. Share the good news, the gospel, not the gossip. <laughs> People bring things to you for you to gossip. Just yeah. be, be careful. I say, well, it stops right here. Yeah. Because I'm not going to say that. So let's not pass it around. Amen. God is great and he was uh, and will be sought. He is good and will be found. Amen. You can seek him and you'll find him. God is great and greatly to be praised. Draw close to God and good things, positive things yes. will happen. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Again, draw close to God. This is your choice. Amen. But it's time that we draw closer. You watching, listening, we need, it's time that we draw close to him. It's time to come home. Amen. Amen. <laughs> we got, listen, we do our part. We need to do our part because his part is already done. Mm -hmm. Amen. His part is already done. He fulfilled it. Now he wants us as a body of Christ, as the church, to do our part. And what, is our, what are we? We're ministers of reconciliation. Yes. Bringing the good news to, to a lost world. Mm -hmm. Bringing light to a dark world. Mm -hmm. And it's in us. 
but we have to step out in faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you do it just in the flesh, it ain't gonna work. You gotta be in the word mm -hmm. and you gotta speak the word. Amen. Amen. Ooh, praise God. Thank Many Christians Lord. will tell you that they love God. They want to get close to God. Mm -hmm. They want to come to church. Mm -hmm. They want to change. Mm -hmm. And few succeed. Mm -hmm. Quit. Listen. <laughs> Quit using excuses. Mm -hmm. I had a good excuse not to be here this morning. I say, no, my God is greater. My God is bigger. By his stripes, I'm healed. We're going to have. I'm going to speak what God has for me to speak. Amen. And I'm not going to stay. Amen. It ain't contagious. <laughs> <laughs> Put some feet to your faith and press mm -hmm. on with Jesus. Yes, Greater is he that's in me than you that's in the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going to step out in faith. Just like Peter, step out of the boat. Some of us need to step out of our closets. Mm -hmm. You know. And press on and have faith. Yes, and step on yeah. and say, Lord, I'm going to finally, finally do what you want me to do. Some of us are way overdue. But we need, to, we, need to, we need to do this. God loves you. And he loves to draw close to you. Mm -hmm. It's good and uplifting to draw near to him on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Remember, he's bigger than anything. Mm -hmm. God is bigger. Yes. Whatever you want to compare it to or compare him to, God is bigger than whatever you're facing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Say, so just, you just got to give it to him. What did he say? Yeah. Cast it on me. Yes. Amen. He says, cast it on me. What is it? What is it you're casting? Yours is different than mine. But you get with him and you confess it to him and give it to him. And he's going to get it. He, he, he's he's going to take care of it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Revelation 3.20 says this. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If, any, if anyone hears, we can scratch that anyone. Just put your name there. Yes. If Jose hears my voice and opens the door yes. he says I will come in mm -hmm. I will come in to yeah. him and dine with him mm -hmm. and he with me. with me amen don't let anyone put fear on you don't let anyone disqualify you for what God has already qualified you to be mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's powerful right there mm -hmm. God if God's got a call on you, nobody can take the call from you except you not wanting to do Amen. it. Nobody can stop it except yourself because the world's already told you and everybody's told you you're not good enough and you bought it and you're not moving. But you're good enough. Why? Because his word says personalize the word because he's talking to you. He's speaking to you. Amen. And when, when you see yourself doing these things, say, okay, Lord, it's time. He says, yes, it's time. And you know what? He's not going to punish you and say, no, it's too light. No, he's going to say, dust yourself and get it, get with it. Just get on from now on, you know. Oh, man, I should have done this a long time ago. Yeah, I should have done it a long time ago, but he wants, you, you're doing it now, so let's, let's get it on. Amen. And press on with him. Hallelujah. Draw close to God in prayer. Spend time with Him. Here I am, Lord. I stand at the door. He says, I'm knocking. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and sup with that person and they with me. In praise and worship, cast all your troubles on Him. He will help you. In reading, studying, and meditating in His Word. In encouragement, stay encouraged and encourage others. And his love for you is for everlasting. Amen. So let's remember this. Jesus is our role model. Listen to this and I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll stop right here. Jesus is our role model. Jesus prayed, so can we. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus taught his followers to pray, so can we. Paul spoke of his continual prayer, so can we. The apostles gave themselves to prayer, mm -hmm. and so can we. We can do all these things through Christ who strengthens us. Let's remember this. Amen. And God is bigger whatever you may be facing. And so we limit ourselves. God has no limits. It might seem impossible 
for us, but all things are possible Amen. through him. Amen. Amen. So let's remember that. Ooh, hallelujah. Did you uh, receive something? Yeah. <laughs> Did it bless you? Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And uh, those of you that are watching, those of you listening, you know, it's time you come home. Mm -hmm. Amen. All you have to do is say, no, Jesus, I've sinned against you. I've been disobeying you. I've been running from you. But it's time to come home. Amen. And all you have to do is repent. And just say, Lord, forgive me. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know, he's got a call for you. He's got a mission for you. He's equipped you to press on and be successful. Amen. Amen. So let's remember that. And you get yourself in the word and start learning that word and getting it in you so that you can make the uh, withdrawals from those deposits that you're making. Amen. So let's remember that if you're sick, <laughs> like I was, <laughs> just speak to your body. Say, body, you line up with the word of God. The, the word of God says, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. So body, receive your healing. No yeah. malfunctions in my body. My, my everything in my body functions into the perfection God created it to function. Yeah. Amen. So no sickness in my body. I cast it. I command it to go in Jesus' name. It's not for me. I receive my healing now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So in giving, if you're watching, it should be on the screen there. Our, um, our website, nbcbigben.com. Hit that donate button. Mail uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marco, Texas, 79843. And Cash App at New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. God loves you, amen. So just know that that He cares for you, He loves you, and we love you. So you have a blessed day, amen. Praise God.